two, three, Big Rick, Brian Keselowski, David Rudiman, Michael Waltrow, Matt Kenseth, Big and Rick. half the field. I see about three of the Hendrick cars there that's Mark, involved. Mark Martin is there. I see him. There's a bit full. Jimmy Johnson laying over there. There's a 24 car. It looks pretty bad. Ryan Vickers limping around. And Mark Martin is part of it. Greg Biffle got a piece of it. Joe Nemechek's right front all turn up, torn up. The nine of Marcus Ambrose. Watch the uh, top right of your screen coming right up in. here. Michael, Michael his teammate, got, Rudiman. Got Rudiman loose. Right in front of Keselowski. Here comes Nemechek. Pow into I, Michael. Look at Nope, didn't make it. Didn't make it. Brian Keselowski yeah. we just talked about was involved. That white car up against the wall there. It's a product of this kind of racing. You know, it's a... Uh, uh, you know, Mike was pushing me, and uh, I, I don't think I'm... When I anticipated the guys moving up in front of us as quick as I did, and it's not Mike's fault. Um, I just probably didn't get on the radio quick enough to, to give him a heads up. He's doing what he's supposed to do. He's pushing. That's all you can do when you're behind, and, and you can't see. you got to rely on a guy in front of you to help you. And, and I was probably a little slow on the uh, slow on the draw there. Uh, let him give him the heads up what was going on in front of us, and uh, here we are. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point. Our chances of winning the Daytona 500 are over. That's the disappointing part. Uh, this drive to end hunger Chevrolet was really fast. Um, got hooked up with Trevor Payne again. Had some help from Casey Caden at the beginning. So we were having a lot of fun. You know, I, I totally get the two-car drafting, and I think that uh, we, we're, we're going to see a lot more of it. What I don't quite understand is why guys are doing it three wide, three deep, running for 28. You know, we need to... They, they need to let it thin out a little bit. As soon as it thins out, then go to it. Well, I just didn't get the information soon enough. You know, I'm pushing David against him a little bit, but he said, give me some room, give me some room, and I was giving him room, and then right at the last second, he said, got to go low, got to go low. And then all of a sudden, you know, we're sideways. So same thing with Kyle. He just he decided at the last second, he said, I'm going up the middle. And when you change directions, pushing in the corner, it's just a recipe for disaster. So as a driver, I'm frustrated. As an owner, it's expensive. But as a fan, this is a Daytona 500, and I can't wait to go get on my toolbox and watch those boys battle.